What is going on guys? Gray for today. I'd like to talk about two more changes that Zoss decided to make to uh, combat in the Elder Scrolls Online before next week's PC Update 35 launch. Now, if you're on console like I am, the launch of Update 35 for everyone on console will be a couple weeks from now, but these changes will go live for everyone no matter what platform you play on. So these will be live for everyone when Update 35 releases. So if you play on PC, these will be live for you next week. If you play on console, these will be live in a couple weeks when update 35 is out for everyone here on console. The changes that were made were uh, something that I think a lot of people kind of saw coming, especially if you played on the public test server on PC. Gina Bruno, one of the community managers, made a post yesterday on the forums talking about the Empower buff no longer applying its bonus to partially charged heavy attacks. And of course, if you're not quite sure what she's talking about, this was for all those players out there saying that medium attack weaving was going to be the leading damage uh, production playstyle or productive playstyle kind of going forward if they kind of left it alone. They have decided to go ahead and change that in power buff so medium attack weaving will not be a thing uh, in update 35. They talked about the, the attacks you know, generally being made by you know an error rather than being intentional. And they were more difficult to do than light attack weaving or fully charged heavy attack weaving. So I think what Zoss kind of saw here was not really this happening when they decided to change the Empower buff. But once the Empower buff changed, some other change, uh, some other changes came with Update 35. Medium attack weaving was kind of creeping its way back into the game. It had been a thing in the past for a little while uh, before. And I think they didn't really want this to be back in the game again, considering they're trying to change light attack weaving anyway. So it's easier for new players. That's one reason they said they nerfed light attack weaving. I think it would kind of been pointless to add medium attack weaving in, which is kind of harder to do because it's one of those things. Like I said, you have to partially charge that heavy attack to be able to medium attack weave. And in my opinion, that's kind of harder to do than light attack weaving or those fully charged heavy attack we, uh, kind of weaving builds as well. So that has been removed. Also, they have removed the, or reduce the damage from the final hit of the restoration heavy attack by approximately 27% and increase the amount of magic you restore by 10%. They said they really want to prevent the restoration staff heavy attacks from becoming a dominant damage producing weapon and instead move its focus of attack type to be the recovery side of things instead. Now during update 35, I'm sure a lot of you heard about during the test server anyway, a lot about medium attack builds and you probably heard a lot of people talking about how good restoration staffs were. There were a lot of healers able to do more damage uh, with, you know, the heavy attacks on the restoration staff. There's a lot of DPS players talking about you might actually could run, you know, restoration staffs on your damage characters and actually do a lot of damage as well. So that's been done away with. So. The two things they changed, like I said, is medium attack weaving will not be in the game now. And also those uh, heavy attacks from a restoration staff, the damage that it deals on that final hit has been, you know, knocked down a good bit and made, you know, the heavy attacks on a restoration staff focus more, like they said, kind of on the magic recovery side, more focused on what the, you know, restoration staff actually is supposed to do. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.